Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to help you figure out the perfect diet, the perfect way of eating that works well for your body. So as most of you may know, if you've been watching my videos a lot, you are aware that I'm a huge advocate for um, listening to your body and finding a lifestyle and a diet that suits you best. Because I truly believe that there's no one size fits all. There's no one perfect approach for every single person. So having said that, how do you figure out what works well for your body? What kind of diet uh, fits you best? What kind of foods work well together? Food combining, what foods don't work well for your body? How much should you be eating for your body? So I hope you find these tips helpful. To start off, I wanna say that your baseline should be a whole foods plant-based diet. It is the most natural, the most abundant, most delicious, most nutrient dense, diet meant for human consumption. So when you are focusing on your calories coming from whole grains, beans, legumes, nuts, seeds, fruits, and veggies, root veggies, these are all of the things that we should be eating. Now, when it comes to figuring out what particular types of foods, what macronutrient ratios work best for you, what food combining works best for you, you have to experiment. So the best thing you can do is try different types of food groups in your meals. Um, and I also like to suggest eating more simply. So when you're trying out and you're doing um, an experiment of mixing, let's say, some particular type of bean with a particular type of root vegetable and a particular type of vegetable, um, keep it simple. Don't start adding in all sorts of sauces and spices. Keep it simple with those whole foods and those three to four ingredients in your meal. When you're doing this, you're getting your body used to those simple foods and you're getting to understand and you can easily and more quickly recognize if those foods feel right for your body. Now, there are many different approaches, many different ways of eating a whole foods plant-based diet. There's fully raw, there's fully cooked, there's a mix of, full, of, of raw and cooked. There is um, low fat, high carb, there is high fat, low carb, there is high protein. There are so many different approaches you can take. So again, in this way, in this regard, you have to experiment. Try it one way, try it the other way. Go through periods of time, a week, two weeks, a month, doing one particular thing and see how it makes your body feel. See how you feel overall physically, mentally, spiritually. Then you can decide if that is truly right for your body. Um, what you can also do is while you're experimenting with these different ways of eating, with different uh, food combining, with different amounts of foods, you can keep a food log or a food journal to write down what you had eaten, how much you had eaten. That way you can look back on it if you have some tummy troubles, if you have a bit of weird digestion issues, or if you feel fantastic, you can go back, look at what you'd eaten, what you had food combined, how much you'd eaten, and you can see clearly, very objectively, what you did so you know that you can do it again or not do it again. That is one of the best tips that I can give you to kind of like figure out what works for you experiment and keep a food log or a food journal to look back on it and see what had gone right, what had gone wrong. Also something to point out is that it is easier to figure out what works for you and what doesn't when you're eating more simply. So going back to what I said about eating three to four ingredients or food groups in that meal will be easier for you to recognize what, um, what does work for you and what doesn't work for you. If you are creating some elaborate crazy recipe that has like 10 or more ingredients or spices and sauces and other things like that, then your body, um, it, it's, your body is going to get a little bit confused. It's harder to digest. So you're going to have a harder time recognizing what in particular it was that didn't agree with you, that caused you some issues or troubles. So a lot of people can be sensitive with, um, uh, breakouts and acne or your digestive system. Um, there are a lot of reasons as to why you'd want to eat more simply, eat more whole, um, and eat more nutritiously. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments on this topic, leave them down below. I hope you found this information helpful or inspiring. If you guys liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here to my channel, subscribe for more because I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. I will see you next time. Bye.